this is gonna be kind of a lengthy video, so grab your tea, coffee, hot chocolate, whatever you want to drink and sit back and enjoy. Hey guys, welcome back. I have a very large supply of things on my bed in front of me right now, and I am excited to show them to you. I have been shopping lately from thrift books and book outlet and just curriculum, uh, Facebook Marketplace, and I have been gathering all these things that we are going to be using for school this coming year here in just a couple weeks actually, or maybe even less than that. And I am super excited. I still don't have everything. I am very, very close though. And I just thought I'd share with you this haul that I got. Um, in case anything looks interesting to you, let me know and I can do a flip through or show you a little bit more about it in depth. Go ahead and click that subscribe button because my next few videos are going to finally be our curriculum picks for the year. I am super excited to share those. I think it's gonna be a super good year. So yeah, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those videos. So if you're new here, my name is Kendra. I have three kiddos and we are a homeschooling family. This will be our fifth year homeschooling. I have a soon to be fourth grader, a soon to be first slash second is kind of where I'm putting him and then a baby. So um, there is a whole range of things here to show you. Well, first, I'm gonna start off with things that I got from Book Outlet. Um, if you don't know what Book Outlet is, it is kind of like a discount bookstore. Everything is new. Um, I've never had any books that have had any issues. I know that they otherwise like make a mark on the pages or something like this, but um, everything that I've ever gotten from Book Outlet has been excellent condition and for a really good price. Now the thing with Book Outlet is the books are not always there. They kind of buy books from different stores and whatever is available at the time is available at the time and they might come back, they might not. So if you see anything that you like, you better snatch it up now because you never know if it will be back again. I also have a link down below to book outlet where you can get, I believe $5 off your first order. If you are around the same age as me or a little older even, you will all remember the Oregon Trail uh, game that we were all obsessed with as kids, at least I was. Um, and they actually have books. And I decided to get these because we're going through this part of history. We're right there in the 1840s, 1860s time period. And I really wanted to get some more books to kind of help bring that part of history alive for them. I really enjoy that part of history. It's like one of my favorite time periods. So I went ahead and picked these up. These are the Oregon Trail Choose Your Own Adventure books, which are always fun to do. These are actually two books in one. I think it's an eight book series. So these are technically the first four books. What's cool is that there is only one path through these books. There are 20 different, what's it say? 20 different possible endings in each story. So you can do this again and again and again until you actually find the one true path to get you from this book to this book. <laughs> So we have not made it through the first book yet, but my boys have really enjoyed these and these are just kind of a fun family evening um, thing. We've all picked different stops. Uh, my husband was first and then I think my boys went and then I went and yeah, we didn't make it through the first book, but that's okay. We will try it again and these are pretty fun. I also picked up a couple books for my daughter. She is one and a half and she loves spot and flat books. So I went ahead and picked up this one. You know, flat books are always, always high on the list when you're little. And I also picked up this one, Rise and Shine. Um, if you know the Bible song, Rise and Shine and Give God the Glory, that's what this is. And it is super adorable. It's got really, really, really cute pictures and illustrations. And my daughter loves it because I always clap in the song. Um, I don't know if everybody does that, but that's how I learned it, where you clap during the third third little verse there. So I was looking around for books that I actually needed <laughs> for some of our curriculum, and I found some, and I was pretty excited. Um, 
This one is called Always Remember Me. It's an extra that goes with our history, but I really wanted to get it. And it was actually kind of expensive on thrift books and things. Like I seemed, I don't know, it was just a little more than I wanted to pay for it. I think I paid seven for it here, but I was like, well, it's brand new and that's still cheaper than what I can get it for, you know, on Amazon or whatever. But it's actually based on a true story. It's the author's, I believe, grandmother a story about how they survived World War II. They are a Jewish family and how they made it through World War II. So I'm really excited to read this one and it goes with our history curriculum. And then these ones actually are not even for this year. They are for next year when we get into ancient history, but I went ahead and picked them up anyway. They were a few dollars um, a piece, so I was excited to find these, but this is the Golden Goblet, and then this is gonna go with our geography that goes along with history. So Beatrice's Goat, I thought this has been like a super cute book, um, and so I was glad to see it there. Oh, that's right, I have all these stacked up in like categories, but I forgot there's one more that I was able to find that I was super excited about. So this also goes with our history and I was really excited to see this because I did need this one. This one was a required book. This is called The Journey That Saved Curious George. And this goes with our history curriculum. And this is about the authors and how they escaped the Nazis during World War II and how we wouldn't have even had uh, the Curious George stories if they had not escaped. So I'm excited to read this one. I think this is gonna be really really interesting and um this is another part of history that is just fascinating to me is world war ii so um those are all the books that i got from book outlet the rest of them are kind of literally scattered from all over the place christianbook.com thrift books a books rainbow resources and oh my goodness facebook marketplace i mean there's just a scattering of things so i'm just gonna go ahead and grab the next stack here um so i got a stack of read alouds from a gal on facebook so i picked up owls in the family we actually just read this we finished it the boys really enjoyed it, it had kind of a abrupt ending but um the boys were like what that's it <laughs> but uh they did enjoy this i also picked up adventures with waffles the children of noisy village Happy Times in Noisy Village, All of a Kind Family. Um, so I've never read any of those and I'm excited to bust into those. I also picked up By the Great Horn Spoon and this goes along with um, like the time period of history that we're into. So we've already read this too and this was a really, really, really good book. Um, I'd never read this as a kid. And both boys really enjoy this, especially my oldest. It's about the California Gold Rush. I picked up Mr. Popper's Penguins. Never read that one before. Mr. Popper's Penguins and this I picked up off of World of Books, the US site. <laughs> um, and there's a few more that haven't come yet, but still, so that's another used bookstore online that you can get things for that had actually really good prices. So world of books, but there's a UK and a US site. So make sure that you're working in dollars, not pounds, if if you're here. <laughs> um, so yes, picked up the How Great Is Our God. We have Indescribable, love it. We read that multiple times over and over and I was excited to pick this one up for I think $5 or something. I mean, it was really actually pretty cheap. This is just a science and God devotional and we really love the first one and I was super excited to pick that one up. I went ahead and bought these off of Christian Book. I got my boys each one. It is the Bible Made Easy. It's just kind of like a little reference book, I guess you can say, um, that explains different things of the Bible so that kids can understand it a little easier. Um, for all the different stories and books of the Bible. Here, you got the kings of Israel and the kings of Judah and whether they were good or bad, all listed out there. So it's like really easy to follow and figure out who was who. 
Um, so I think this is going to be a really good book to just reference back and forth for uh, Bible studies and things. I also picked up, this was used, I got it off Facebook, one of the YWAM books, the Hudson Taylor. He's going to be our first missionary that we study in the Not Consumed to Every Nation um, missionary study and I'm excited to start this and I've only gotten the one book so far we'll kind of gauge how long this takes us to get through it as we go through everything else as well but this shows you a slight um, summary about the missionary and then it goes into like a map of where they were and they each have a character trait that they are um, embodying here for each of the missionaries. I do this this year, I'm excited about it. Also from Christian Book, I picked up some of the Abeka Flash of Cards series, um, Bible stories. I mentioned before that I really wanted to keep going with it, but they're so expensive as a whole curriculum. And somebody in the comments said, oh, that she just you know, does these and doesn't even worry about the teacher's manual. And I don't know why that never occurred to me to do it that way. And I was like, what a great idea. <laughs> so, um, that's what I've decided to do, but I've only picked up this one and then the tabernacle. This is actually for, I think fifth grade or sixth grade is when this one pops in. But my son, my oldest and I, we had read through, um, Exodus and the part where it talks about the tabernacle and the length and breadth of the building it and all the little technicalities that they had to do and everything they had to follow and the gold and the brass and the colors and the, the positions and the curtains and you know it can be a lot to take in and so I thought this would be an excellent way to visualize this for us and um, I've always liked the Abeka flashcard series we have first second first and second um, grade uh, Bible study. So it goes from Genesis and then it ends, ends in Ruth and we're going to be starting up in Life of Samuel. Well, I think this is going to be really interesting. It'll help us wrap our heads around it and we will also be able to reference it in here as well. So that's pretty exciting. I went ahead and picked up this off of eBay because I know that my son is probably going to fly through this. If you watched my last video about, no, not my last, sorry, two videos ago about math facts and mastering those, I kind of explained a little bit about this, um, but I'll explain more in the grade specific curriculum videos, but I got the old version, like super old <laughs> version of Matthew C. Beta. And um, I didn't mind that it was super old. It wasn't even used. Like, I think one of the tests, the first test or something. No, the first two worksheets are written on in pencil. The rest is completely clean. And this doesn't change for any of the additions. Or it didn't bother me that it was like ancient. Um, so I picked up that. I also picked up this level for my younger son and it actually came with the songbook which is cool this all came off of facebook marketplace there's biblical versions and regular versions of little songs to help kids learn how to skip count and my younger son is definitely musically inclined when it comes to stuff like that uh, moving on <laughs> I will also explain this in my curriculum picks videos of where my brain is in all of this stuff. Um, but <laughs> I saw this and I just couldn't, I couldn't pass it up when I looked into it more. And now I'm not sure what science I even want to do first because I have three. <laughs> so it is what it is. But um, I went ahead and picked this up off of Facebook. I'm really excited to start this, and my younger son is incredibly excited to start it. So is my oldest, but um, we're not sure. We're not sure which one we're going to start yet. So to go with that, I picked up the notebooking journals from ChristianBook.com as well, and I picked up both the junior uh, versions because I know <laughs> that my older son, though he is going into fourth grade. He's not a big writer yet, and he would prefer to do 
the coloring pages and um, the less writing. Um, so I knew I knew he wouldn't actually really do much of the older version. So I went ahead and picked up the junior version for him and I think it's right where he needs to be and he'll enjoy this a lot more than sitting there struggling on what to write and everything. So there is copy work, Bible verse of copy work, either cursive or print. There are different little mini books and things in the back. There's all kinds of different things to write on, information on. There's actually the schedule in here for the textbook. So, uh -oh. so if you want the schedule, this is where this is. We're gonna loosely follow this. And what's really cool about this and I can, I can go through this even more in depth, but it has these little dive deeper sections and talks about all kinds of different videos, books, projects, activities that you can do. And we are excited about that. I may need to pause here because somebody sounds like she's waking up, <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. She might fall back to sleep. Oh, well, that's about half. So if you're still with me, Cool, because <laughs> I got a lot of good stuff here. I also picked up the brand new All About Spelling Level 1, and I'm excited to start this. I've already uh, pretty much prepped all of it. I need to laminate a lot of things in here, though, but I have everything prepped out by lesson um, for that. But my laminator comes tomorrow, so I'm super excited about that nerding out on a laminator and I picked up the brand new spelling and review book also the something fishy as you can see I have everything also in page protectors but I don't have a binder for this yet I have a lot of laminating to do with this because this level you can use with any or this review book sorry you can use with any level spelling any level reading and basically you just write the words that they're working on or need work on and play these little um well, of course all the instructions are in front but if you want a closer look at this uh go ahead and leave that in the comments and i can do a more in-depth view of this and the spelling if you'd like but they play the activities to help them review and to make this um non-consumable I'm going to laminate everything so we can use it on dry erase markers and um, use them over and over again. Some other books I got for my son's science. I did a haul weeks ago <laughs> um, and showed some of the science books that go with this. I'll go ahead and leave that link below, but here's some more, an amphibian uh, field guide. Ducks don't get wet. Wolf Snail, A Backyard Predator, About Amphibians, About Habitats, Wetlands, Frogs, and Think of an Eel. So we're definitely doing this science. I know for a fact this one is coming. The other two, I haven't decided what we're doing first. But like I said, that will all be in the Curriculum Picks video coming up. To go along with my son's grammar and English, we are doing Beowulf's grammar. If you missed that video, I will go ahead and link that below. I did kind of a first impressions of that curriculum and it just is amazing looking. So I picked up, I think this is, I'm waiting on one more book. It's just, it's in route, but it's called The Jolly Postman. Um, I'll put a picture up here. So I'm still waiting on that one, but the rest of these are, what is a pronoun? Writer's Toolbox. This has a ton of little books in it that they required in the curriculum, but they said to save money if you're not using utilizing the library to go ahead and get the book that has all of them together. So I went ahead and did that one. This is part of the vocabulary, the English from the Roots Up. Look at my book, How Kids Can Write and Illustrate Terrific Books. This is Don't Forget to Write. It's a bunch of different writing prompts. It's scheduled. Some of them are scheduled in the curriculum, but I mean, it just 
even not scheduled, this looks like a really good book to use for um, writing prompts and how you can go about doing different you know, genres and things like that. So I'm excited to dive into this. I found this used and it was like brand spanking new. I tell you what. So that was cool. This is the Child's Introduction to Poetry. No, it does not have a cover, which is kind of obnoxious. And it doesn't have the CD, which I'm not worried about because I wasn't planning on using that anyway. But I just like having the dust covers on there. But that's okay. It works just the same. Another one that goes with this curriculum is Illustration School. Let's draw a story. Um, I think this is supposed to be consumable. Like they're learning how to illustrate different things. Um, I could just copy these things and then have my son do it so that I can save this for my younger son as well. I might actually do that now that I'm thinking about it because this one wasn't very cheap either. I did find it off of a books. It was brand new, but it was a little bit cheaper than Amazon. And then along to go with that is this. I got this off Rainbow Resource, the Story Maker. It is a magnetic um, poetry, silly sentences. Okay, create silly sentences and stories with magnetic phrase tiles. So of course everything is backwards in here. So it's just black. But there's all these little words and they're color coded, I think, for the different parts of speech. Um, made in America. So these look like they're going to be a lot of fun and I'm excited to see what kind of silly sentences and things he can make with those. And the last thing for language arts is a Q&A Q &A a day for kids. It is a journal. And he's actually really excited about this. this looks really cool so each day they have a question so each day of the year they have a question and then for three years you'll write your answer so for this year he'll be on the top line next year he'll come back through and answer the same question and it'll be kind of like a fun little it'll be like a time capsule I guess um as he gets older on how his answers change and all kinds of things. It'll be just kind of a fun thing to look back on. And he's one of those kids that will keep this forever, I'm sure, and just want to look at it over and over and over again and see how he was two years prior and the things that he answered for that. All right, we're almost done. I wanted to get some nature journals for them. I wanted to get some composition notebooks for them, especially my oldest who's doing the Beowulf's grammar. It has this whole writing section in it and he's actually really excited to do it but I wanted to make sure that he had some sort of composition book that he could keep everything you know together so he has a record of it for this year and so it's called Miller pads and paper they've got all kinds of different things on there but they have these blank books that are like a few dollars I think these were like two dollars three maybe I remember right but it's literally just a blank notebook and then you can pick the different size of lines that you wanted and I got him wide rule I didn't want the big lines with things in the middle because it's just distracting um, for him at his age I think but uh, and he can he can write small enough but so he can draw a picture do whatever he's supposed to be writing about from Beowulf's grammar or if he wants to just write something um, he can have all of that and he can decorate the cover. For my younger son, I went ahead and got the My Picture Story book. So it's basically the same thing, just landscaped. And it has, I got him the bigger lines to go with that. Um, if he wants to, he can dictate to me and I will write what he wants to say or I will write it out and he can copy it. Um, onto here, which is probably more or less what I'm going to do because the boy needs to work on his handwriting. But um, yeah, so they're excited about those. And to go along with the pond and stream, they need nature notebooks. And I went ahead and got these. They're actually hardcover and they're just plain white. You can color on them with colored pencils. So I told them they could decorate their covers however they wanted. And it's literally just blank sheets of paper. It's kind of like a sketchbook paper. It's not printer paper. It's a little bit heavier, like a sketch paper. So, um, yeah, 
So they'll just cart these things around and if they find anything in nature they wanna draw or come home and draw or write about or anything like that or if they wanna put leaves or flowers or you know whatever in here, that is fine with me. All right, final little stack here. So this is our history curriculum that we will be doing. And I finally got the lesson plans in, so I'm excited. This is the Simply Charlotte Mason Modern Times. And last year we did the early modern times and loved it. So I have a review and a look through of that curriculum. I'll go ahead and link that video below as well um, if you wanna see inside of that. And this is very similar setup, exact same, um, has your lessons and what you are reading and the grade levels. This goes through first through 12th grade, so you can use it for all of your children at once. And love this. And I am already, like I said, planning ahead because we love it that much. I am sticking with this history curriculum. And like I said, these go with the ancient history for the year after this one. There are books in here for first through third grade and fourth through sixth grade that I'll be using, and that is what most of these are here. Um, these two, however, are the spine books. These are the ones that we read as a family. It is the Stories of America, Volume 2, and Stories of America, nope, Stories of the Nations, Volume 2. These are hard to find, and actually, I think they're revamping this curriculum next year. They've already just revamped the one that we just finished. So these volumes are now different for that version. Um, but so check on Simply Charlotte Mason website. As of this year right now, this is the current, the current volume, the second edition um, and everything. But I know that they are planning on redoing them. So just keep that in mind as you're looking for things. Some of the other books that go with this are the George Mueller book. So we'll be doing George Mueller in the Not Consumed Bible, but we're also reading about him in this. This is for my fourth grader, Abe Lincoln, Log Cabin to White House. I think this is supposed to be a um, independent read, but I plan on reading this as a read aloud. So the Singing Tree, we will also be doing this as a read aloud. Snow Treasure, I actually already owned this, so that was nice. <laughs> I didn't have to buy this one. Always Inventing, the story of Alexander Graham Bell. And then these books are extras, kind of like the Always Remember Me that I wanted to go ahead and pick up. They have a list of bonus books and things in the Simply Charlotte Mason guide and on the website. You can look at all the books required and everything like that through their website. Um, before even purchasing to see what they have and so I went ahead and got these because like I said I wanted to dive just a little bit deeper into these 1840s to 1860s era this is coolies about the Chinese workers on the transcontinental railroad and my boys had no idea that the Chinese even helped work on the railroad so um, they thought that was kind of fascinating we have not read this yet but it is going to be one of the first things that we read as we get along and this is another book that didn't come with this dust cover, which is a little bit annoying, but it's okay because it's still really pretty. <laughs> but this is Locomotive by Brian Floca. Um, this is about the Transcontinental Railroad. It gives a little bit of history about it, but it, I think, based on just how it's looking, is that this family is actually going on a trip over the Transcontinental Railroad and it talks about, you know, how it was built and things like that. So I'm excited about that. And because I'm crazy, I have another history here because my oldest son is a detail guy. He loves the Simply Charlotte Mason as does my younger son for the stories, the living books, the narr narrative voice of the books. However, last year I went ahead and read the BJU History 3 after we had finished all of our history for this last year and my oldest really enjoyed it. He says, this is great. I'm getting all these little details that are filling in where this one didn't go into details, but where we got like the stories about the people and things. 
So I went ahead and got the Heritage Studies 4 because I'm going to be reading these in tandem this year instead of after the fact like I did last year. And um, yeah, neither one of these need supplements. It's just, this is just how we are. We are history loving family. And like I said, my oldest is a very detail oriented kid. So he likes to have all of everything. <laughs> so um, this will give more details about the progression of the you know, timeline and the events that happened um, at the time. So it's the same time period as what we're learning right now. And BJU3 went with the early modern. So it was the perfect lineup for all of that. And we're excited to go ahead and get started. But like I said, you do not need both of these. If you go with this, it's great. If you go with this, it's great. Um, you know, you don't need all, but that's just how we are. So that is it for this video. If you stuck around to the end, awesome. Thank you so much. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you have used any of these books or any of them look exciting to you and want a deeper look inside any of them. Let me know that in the comments. My curriculum pick videos coming up next. I will have three of them. I'm going to separate them into family subjects and then each of the boys individual subjects. So go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any of those. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Now I have to put all this away. Oh.